Boom, guys. Welcome back. Listen, we're going to talk about how to succeed even on bad days, essentially. All right? Listen, you know just as well as me that bad days will happen. Okay? This is something I had to learn to recognize uh, through years of trying, you know, to, you know, become better, self-develop, move in the direction of my dreams, just like you want to. I'm going to show you exactly what is most, what the most important thing about this is. Okay. The bad stuff will happen. You know this as well. Have you ever had those days where it's like, why am I here? Why am I doing all this? Right? Everyone has those days. Everyone has those days, right? The thing you need to focus on, which we'll go into right now, right now in this video is to keep pushing even on those days. Okay. I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that very easily. Um, through my whiteboard here, God bless. So, imagine this, right? You want to end up here, right? With the stars, put the star here, beautiful star. Okay, so we have a lot, we, we, we're starting here, right? We're starting down, let's stay here. We're not at, you know, rock bottom, no one is. If you're alive, then you're not a rock bottom, okay? Everything is possible, let me tell you that. <clears throat> so we're starting here, all right? Now, life, it never moves in a straight line. There will always be challenges out there to get you, right? You know this. So, what does this look like? You wanna get from here to here, right? So, we we'll start here. You start one, maybe, let's say you wanna start gym. This doesn't just apply to the gym, although it's very common to see in the gym. It's a very good example of it. But for anything, business, um, relationships. Relationships are very good. You know, the honeymoon phase, everything's going nice and then it dips and then, right, maybe back up. Who knows, right? It's up to you. We'll go through that. Um, but you, you see this in every single part of life, this graph right here, all right? So, we start from the new, right? Boom, right? And then we go here and boom, and then we go here. And then boom, and then we go here, and then boom, and then we go here. Maybe a massive dip. That's usually very typical. Like we go like this, and then we end up here. That might be that might be one thing. But hey, let's just keep it like close to as linear as we can with this snake graph right here. Let's do this. Boom. This is good. All right. You see how this isn't perfectly lined up, but hey, you see how there's an upward trend all the time, all the time, even through the gullies. Okay, so let's make a straight line. Yes, almost, right? Perfect. So, you see how, you know, you have these highs up here. These are the highs. These are the lows. With the cross on. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Hope you guys can see this. So, these are the lows. There are so many days, and there have been in the past, where I'm like, oh my God, right? Even me. Even as invincible as I am, to stand there, I still have those days. Just like you, just like anyone else. Just like Jeff Bezos, just like fucking Elon Musk, just like anyone. There are those days, okay? But winners perform regardless of those days. That's what separates them. Okay, look, down here, like everyone experiences this. Winner, like losers, here's a good, great example, okay? People who can't be consistent. People who go to the gym, okay, look, this is a different graph. We'll put the box in it just for that. So this is what, uh, let's say here and here, right? This is what losers do, okay? Vroom, vroom. And then the machine goes beep, just like in the hospital movies when it's like beep, right? That's what happens here, beep, death, right? Not literally death, but hey, they stopped going to the gym, right? They had the high and then the low came in. Maybe they weren't motivated. Maybe something happened. Maybe the girlfriend broke up with them. What the fuck ever, right? They're flatline. They don't go to the gym. These are the people, and you hear them all the time. Oh, I went to the gym for three weeks and then I stopped. I don't know why, right? Yeah, this is it. This is it. Hold on, let me check that. It's still recording. Yeah, okay. My space on my iPhone is a bit low, so I just need to double check. Um, so that's, that's what that looks like. Okay, we want to be here, but this like this is this is basically a bigger version of this, right? But we want to make this curve not flatline, 
but this, all right? Back up, back on the horse, right? Because you're a warrior, that's what you are, you're a warrior. So, how do we handle the gully that will arrive? Okay, relationships. Honeymoon phase, you know, we get up here, everything is going nice with a girl. For example, I'm not gonna comment too much on this, on the honeymoon phase, you know? But hey, that's what I've heard, okay? Um, here, you know, we have a good time, and then everything fades away. Not fades away, but hey, um, you know, you start, you know, it's not that, you know, spark, right? <clears throat> you know? So hey, we go down it, for example. All right, let's take business. You start something new. You found a dropshipping course. You found anything on the internet. It looks exciting. It looks, you know, here's how to make this amount of money in this month, whatever, right? You find it exciting. So you do all the actions, you go through the thing, and it's like, shit, a challenge. And you end up here, okay? Another example. Now, I'm gonna, not gonna draw up again, but hey, fitness, you start the gym. It's exciting, you feel the pump, you know? Maybe you're back from the gym, maybe you just started, all right? But hey, something new, something novel, something exciting like that, we start here, we go here. We feel the pump, and then woof, the pump isn't that exciting anymore. Who knows, right? How do we combat this gully? This, this is the most important. Like I said, winners perform here, okay? Winners, everyone can perform here. Like for the stuff, stuff you like, that's, that doesn't even count, okay? I have to force myself to not train that much because I kind of like it, okay? Maybe I'm a bit retarded, who knows? Probably, but hey, I, there are days where I don't feel like it either, and that's why I'm the best, because I perform regardless, okay? So, and I've learned this through challenge, through experience, especially what I'm so grateful for as well, my military experience, my special forces training experience, God bless, so grateful for that. Because when you're out in the forest getting hunted by dogs, you can't just lay under the tree all day just because you feel like it. You have to perform, right? You have to perform regardless, okay? I've gone multiple days without sleep, without food, and we still kept it going, right? Boom, boom, boom. One, one foot after the other, pop, pop, pop. Right, that's how it works. That's how it works for life as well. Okay, here we have something called, should I remove this? I'll remove this, okay? You understand the goalie. Oh, let, me check the, let me check the video again. Yeah, nice. All right. Let me write something here for you. Maybe you heard this term before. Maybe not. All right. Non-negotiables. Non-negotiables. Okay. Put a big line under it for you to understand. If you don't know how to read, this is the N. This is not. No, I'm just kidding. Um, listen. This is very important. Non-negotiables. I think in business, big business, they have KPIs, key performance indicators. What is the exact actions keeping us on track towards this goal, all right? This goal, this star right here, that's the ultimate goal, right? Okay, what are those actions? Okay, for the gym, you wanna build a body like this, right? Immaculate, well, lighting might not be too good here, who knows how. Um, what you can do is, first of all, you can check the link in the description, and I'll teach you how to train. I'll make you an absolute savage, okay? It is not free, but I'll get you the results you want, guaranteed. Um, but back to the video. Here, in the goal is we need the non-negotiables. Okay, how do we identify that? Well, we look at the end goal, and we're like, okay, what do I want in the end? This is what we do with goal. I talked about this in another video, like goal-oriented versus action-oriented, or goal-focused versus action-focused. We need to be goal-focused, okay? No, I mean action focused, not goal focused. The goal is a guideline, okay? That's what it is. It's like we're moving towards the star, but when we're in the spaceship, we're doing everything else, we need to do everything every day to keep that spaceship operational, or else we're gonna fucking implode in the darkness of space, right? Or through the, you know, mist of life. Let's be poetic about it, huh? So, we, this is like, okay, we see the light at the end, maybe, maybe not. But we know that, okay, 
we can start like going back. Okay, I want, I want this. And then we realize, okay, what is needed every single day for that to happen? So let's say you want to build a physique. Here, it's very easy. You train, right? Train every single day. Here, it's very easy. You train every single day. That's it, okay? The non-negotiables are done here and they're done here. There's no difference. That's the thing. So, this might seem obvious. Hey, Nico, yeah, you need to just keep doing the same thing. Well, it's not obvious, is it, right? If it was obvious, then everyone would do it, but they're not. And so, it's not obvious. But, I'll tell you what. On these days, you can do extra because you feel like, damn, this pump is nice, I'm gonna do a few extra sets. For example, you'll have to extrapolate. I'm very fond of using fitness as an example, but you'll have to extrapolate. Hey, today we're doing, oh, we wanted to do more outreach for our business. We're doing 10 outreach messages. Hey, today it feels good, we're doing 20, okay? We'll double it. This feels nice. Hey, we're on our way to our goal, boom. Then, something crash happens. We can't just stop doing outreach, guys. We can't just stop training. We can't just stop caring for the people we care about, right? Um, and our relationships, our girlfriends, our families. We can't just stop that, right? So here we have the non negotiables. This needs to be done every single day. For the gym, and I want you guys to dumb this down so it's so simple for you to never miss, okay? Life isn't always about hitting inner tense all day, all day. It's just about not missing, if that makes sense to you, okay? So here, okay, my, let's say my usual workout regime during this block, let's say I have a block for workouts or business or relationship, whatever, right? Uh, maybe not relationship, you don't usually, you don't usually divide the blocks, you know, relationship into blocks like that. Um, but let's say for workouts then, you'll have to extrapolate as mentioned. So let's say in this block, I have a 12 week program I'm following and I have this amount of work, this amount of work, this amount of work, amount of work to do, right? And inside, in week seven, let's say this goalie happened in week seven or whatever, maybe it happens, you know, many, many days because something happens in my life that I don't, you know, can't explain, can't understand. Maybe I can understand it. Maybe, you know, something happens to me that, you know, it does make me feel bad. For example, like, for example, or you. Um, I want to keep this as simple as possible. I want to say, hey, can I go in there and do two sets? Two sets of the gym. Okay, we want to do a leg day. And usually our leg day looks like, okay, these are my exercises, this, 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 this. Hey, uh, on this day, we're gonna go in and we're gonna do two sets. Two sets, okay? Can I do squats for two sets? Boom, non-negotiable, okay? A workout, whatever that workout looks like to do. Let me just check the item. All right, so we need to make this as dumb as possible for us. So we can't miss, that's just the whole point. So we can get our workout in, okay, we got a workout in. Make that workout so simple to you. Okay, 30 minutes of burpees. Then you won't miss at least. You've at least done the workout. Because, again, and if the workout isn't as good as it usually is, or, for example, then, that, then it's not just about the workout, okay? This is about the consistency. Consistency and discipline is a muscle. And we build it, not through here, but through here. This is where consistency and discipline is built. built. Um, this is easy. Everyone can do this, like I said in the beginning with the fucking thing where people flatline, everyone can go to the gym and get there. Everyone. And everyone does it, right? Everyone's been in the, you know, everyone's been in the gym and they're telling you, hey, they stopped for this reason. Here. This is where we build consistency. This is where we build discipline, and it is done through non-negotiable, non-negotiable actions every single day. Okay, what I want you guys to do, I want you guys to find something like this, a whiteboard, for example, and I want you guys to write down exactly uh, where you want to go, like what's your goal? Okay, you want to put some muscle, okay, what do I need to do to do every single day? Hey, I need to work out, boom. Or whatever program that fits to you, I need to write that down and I need to look at it every single day. Uh, and write, write non-negotiable. And then you will just dot, 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 dot. Workout, workout, uh, eat, drink. 
Top tip. Oh my god. I, I need to write it down. I need to keep it in mind. Boom, boom, boom. Can I hit this goal every single day, right? Or these actions. Because we are action focused, not goal focused. Because if we can just focus on getting this done, then this will happen. All right? And I'll tell you what, if we focus on getting this, then that doesn't ensure that this, get, that this gets done. Okay? It doesn't ensure that. But if we focus on this, then that ensures that we get this. As long as this matches this goal, of course. Right? It's not like if I want to build a, an immaculate body, then my goal daily action is to you know, go on five dates. It, you know, it's kind of misaligned like that. But if your goal is to get better with women, that is an action that you know, is aligned with the end goal. Um, you'll get that, right? Um, so, as we move towards this line, we don't really focus on this at all. We just focus on this, okay, every single day. Boom, boom, boom. Drink the water, eat the food, do the workout, just like that, every single day. You gotta become like a machine, okay? You stop thinking about this stuff after a while, right? You're not really that focused on the end goal. And you shouldn't be either. Because I'll tell you what, it's not the goal, this is not what's worth it, okay? The, the real reward for it, right? this is just, whatever reward this is, it's usually some materialistic thing. Hey, I want this Lamborghini, hey, I want this body, hey, I want this, right? Let's just take the phone in. Yeah. So I want this Lamborghini, I want this thing, right? The, the re real reward, I'll tell you this, the real reward from all of this and from working in these gullies is the process, okay? You become a better version of yourself. It sounds very cliche, but you become resilient. You become consistent, you become disciplined through this. That is the reward, okay? And so you're rewarded while doing this. This is not something that we just do to end up here. This is the reward. Doing the actions are the reward itself. And once you realize, or once you find, start finding uh, a joy, enjoyment in doing the actions themselves, then we reach a new level. Then we reach the next level of what is possible. Because you're not, ever, just every, in the end, everything the, will not be, nothing will be hard anymore. Everything will seem easy to you. Because you'll just take, you'll identify the simplest action of anything you want to accomplish, and you'll do exactly that on repeat every single day. Just like that. I did, when I did my Muay Thai training, back in Samui a few months ago, I started doing more boxing now. Um, I still do the same. I do this for anything I need to get done, right? For, especially for sports. I'm a big fan of sports. I love athleticism. You can see this, of course. I look like an absolute freak, a god. So what I do for anything uh, like that, or anything in life, really, what are the easiest actions I can make? What are the simplest things? Okay, for boxing. Hey, my stance, okay? Can we just, today, can we just make sure the stance is okay? For example, that's, that's non-negotiable, okay? That is an action, the simplest action. I dumb it down for myself, I make it simple. Hey, today I'm gonna focus. Okay, even if my job is bad, I'm just gonna focus on, hey, can I move my feet properly this time? Bam, 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 boom. It's sick, it's bam, bam, bam. For example, we dumb it down. We make it so easy for ourselves to not lose, okay? That's what you need to do. I swear, that, you know why? Uh, maybe you've heard this before. Maybe you've heard that dumb, uh, smart people don't, uh, aren't that uh, successful because they overthink. Like they say, usually say dumb people are successful. I don't think that. I don't think that way. I don't think that you're dumb because you're successful. I just think that you have an ability to not be stuck by paralysis, by analysis, in paralysis by analysis. And you're, you're much better at defining the simplest thing, like dumbing it down for yourself. You're not dumb. All right, if you succeed, you've done something at least. Um, so don't, don't listen to that. Just know that the reason probably, uh, and I, you know, I'm speaking out of my ass right now. I'm not 100% sure, sure about this, but I can imagine that um, this is actually something in the military too. I can imagine that. It's because they're able to dumb it down for themselves and just repeat, 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 repeat and then success in the end. I remember back in the Pistol during my selection there, where's my thing? Never mind. When we, I was having these ideas about why we were doing what we were doing and what kind of person it took to go through the things we were doing, like walking through the night. It's boring. 
It's not like there's any music when we're walking with our backpacks through the middle of the night on skis. There's no music. We don't talk to each other because we're on mission, right? And so I realized that to be a soldier, now this doesn't go just if you're a soldier, it goes for anything, okay? To be a soldier though, I realized that you need to be dumb enough to keep going and you need to be smart enough to know that it will not go on forever, okay? So what does that mean? Hey, I'm dumb enough to take this next step and not think about... I ran out of space on my iPhone, but it's fine, I fixed it now. What does that mean though? What does that mean, being dumb enough to uh, take the next step but smart enough to know that it's not gonna be uh, going on forever? Um, it means that if we can, you know, put this into daily life, if we can identify simple actions and just keep going and not get stuck in the rut and do, to do thinking, okay? Because this is very common in, in, mili in the military. People get stuck up on, hey, oh my God, my goal is there, I'm here, um, and I don't know if it's gonna work. They get stuck up on that thought instead of the thought of, hey, I'm gonna take the next step. That's what it means, being dumb enough to take the next step, boom. Because you're not thinking that you got like 50,000 more steps to go, right? And when I'm saying that, I don't, I don't want you to be discouraged, okay? I don't want you to be, to be discouraged because I, want, I just want to realize that you do not focus on that. Do not focus. That's what go, I go for, being goal-focused all the time is horrible because you, you, end, you end up missing out on the steps like that. Every single rep. That, those are the ones that matter, right? So... That's why it's so important to be dumb in a way, right? But it's very easy to get stuck up on the idea of, hey, I got this much work to do, I got this much, I did this much. And that's why it's so important that you dumb it down and make it simple. Not too much, okay? When it goes for a non, nego, non-neg, ultiables. I want you guys to make it easy because if you make it too difficult, you, you it's so much easier to get up, end up with that thought of, hey, um, I got all these steps to do and my goal is there. Instead of, hey, I only have a workout, I have to post a YouTube video and whatever, right? I have to make food for this to work. I only have those three actions. Isn't that really easy? So you need to make it so easy for yourself to win, just like that. So that when the days come, because they will come, just like, you know, as I know, the days that you don't feel like doing the work, that's when we can perform, all right? Super important. Daily actions, non-negotiables, uh, key performance indicators. It really is what makes, it break, makes or breaks you uh, in this game of self-developing, of reaching your goals, of in business, just, you know, getting it done. There needs to be some structure to it. There's never been like, the, the, I said this in, on my Instagram the other day, guesswork doesn't work for this stuff. Okay, and what's so nice with the non-negotiable is that there is a structure through life in that, hey, you have this to do, that is the structure. And structure isn't something that's uh, um, a uh, restrictor on you, it's a liberator. Because once everything, once all of these, is, these are done, you can go back to whatever the fuck you want, okay? If that means that on this bad day, where you don't feel like doing it, that you want to, just want to lie on the couch, or just want to watch Netflix, whatever, you can. You can, you're free. It's freedom, this is freedom. Uh, you know the Jocko Willing thing? Discipline equals freedom? Right. This is the discipline. Getting these few tabs done, then you have freedom. That's what leads to it, okay? Um, I think that's it for today, all right? Big video, okay? A pretty long one, so I hope you guys enjoy that. By the way, if you guys need help sculpting that dream physique, building an elite level mindset built through a decade of hard work, non-conventional methods, then check out the link in the description, all right? I will hook you up. I swear to absolute God. It's not free. But hey, I will get you results. Alright? Take care and God bless. Boom!